Hello YouTube and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to port forward for um, Minecraft on your uh, Belkin server, uh, Belkin router uh, server, uh, but, uh, Belkin server and um, it's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. So the first thing you want to do is uh, go to the URL and put in this, put in this, it's very special, it's a very special numbers and dots. Um, it can be different, so you'll just have to try to find out um, your IP thing. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna call it. Um, and once you get here, you just want to log in. Uh, if you made a password, just put in your password. I've not got a password, so please don't come to my house and get into my network and hack into it. <laughs> um, after you do that, to go to firewall, like right here. And then go to virtual servers. And then you do that. When it's load. Um I actually got already this filled in. Um just wanna kinda of fill this in how it is here, two five five six five, two five five six five. And um some of them only have like one uh typing in thing, so you just put two five five six five once. Mine's different though, because it's kinda I think it's an older version and I'm not updated it. Um then your private IP address, uh which you can find in your command prompt actually. Go ahead and get that up. Um, once you get in your command prompt, just do IP config and it should bring up your um, stuff, stuffy stuff. Uh, oh, you don't need to see that. Um, right here, IPv4 address. Um, as you see, mine's a point four. <laughs> it changed. It was um, a point three, but now it's a point four. Um, it just depends. It changes sometimes. Um, so actually, after you do that, uh, you're going to go down here to the next one, and you're going to make this one a TCP, and you're going to name this one Minecraft. <sighs> God, Minecraft. Minecraft 2 or whatever, you know, name it something Minecraft anyway. Then um, make sure you click enable. Then put the same stuff all but the top, which will be TCP, and it can be mixed up. This one can be TCP and that one can be UDP. It doesn't really matter. Um, then after you get all your private IP address and all that stuff in, you run your server and you should be able to join it. Um, so thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. On a lot of stuff. One, two, three. Bye.